All right, happy July, everyone. So in honor of July, which is the seventh month of the year, I'm gonna walk you through the seven improvements we've made in Warp over the last two weeks. So let's get cracking. First thing is you can now move your closed tab button to the left. Just go to appearance in your settings, scroll down to where it says tab close button position, and then change that to the left. This is a nice design detail for people who are used to having that close button be on the left for Mac OS, and it's also a good accessibility improvement for left-handed users. Number two is that our Universal Developer Input, or UDI, only shows the background color and border styling when the pane is active. So to show this, I'm going to press Command D to open up a split pane to the right, and you'll see that only the active pane that I'm in has the UDI styling applied. And I think this is a really nice visual cue, especially when I've got multiple panes open like this. Number three is you can enter the terminal mode by pressing exclamation mark and space. This is for any regular terminal commands like ls, cd, tail, grep, etc. And as a reminder, you could already enter agent mode by pressing asterisk and space. There's also a third mode called auto mode, which auto detects if you're typing in a shell command or a natural language query, and you can cycle through all three of these options by pressing command i, or whatever the corollary is on Windows and Linux. Number four is that we've updated our App icon, which is now by default this design. Kind of has this moody cloud background, which is kind of like they took a picture of the Seattle skyline. But the old icon is still there under warp one in settings if you want to change it back and feel nostalgic. Though I feel like we should have called it something more interesting, like the old warp or something. Let us know in the comments if you want us to change this name to something else more fun. Number five is that the Git branch and directory chips are now searchable. So if I click on this chip here, I can search for specific directories and click to switch. Same thing with branches, and you'll see that Warp automatically runs the command to move you into the correct location. Personally, I'd rather just type out git checkout or ls or cd, but this is just a nice thing to have and it depends on the developer's preference of how much they want to use a user interface. Number six is now the UDI context chips show the git dirty file counts directly in the git branch chip, which is just a nice quality of life thing to give me more context as I'm working. So this means that I have 11 uncommitted changes with 948 lines of added code and 131 lines of deleted code. And number seven is I was told apparently that our DMG installer background has an improved visual design. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna download warp, cool. And then opening it up here. Oh, wow, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Um, it kind of bothers me that this <laughs> get warping text is a little blurry. Is that just me? It's pretty funny though. We're trying to make the phrase warping a thing. So if you do something in warp, you should say that you warped your task or you were warping this. But yeah, that's it. That's our seven updates for this week. Hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.